Snellmobile clubs are urging riders to be safe after a deadly weekend across the state. Three people died in separate crashes in St. Louis, Ottertail, and Wabasha counties. John Lortzen talked with trail experts about their concerns and how to stay safe this winter. We've gotten a lot of local traffic. People who normally have to trailer elsewhere are getting to ride trails closer to home. Michelle Cook is president of the Rice Creek Trail Association. As the club celebrates its 40th year, it's being rewarded with a snowy winter. But they're also aware of tragedy in other parts of the state. It's heartbreaking. A lot of things can happen. It can be an experience. It can be riding past your ability. One of the fatalities over the weekend was a 12-year-old boy in Wabasha County. More snow means more riders, and many are inexperienced. With a season's worth of snow already, hazards aren't easy to see, which is why Cook is urging people to stay on the trails. You're far less likely to hit something if you're on a marked trail. There's like two or three guys who do the grooming and they'd like to have more people. Jim Smeeby is with the Invergrove Heights Snowmobile Club. He says a lack of volunteers to help remove branches and clear trails is a concern. A lot of the younger generation want to ride. They don't want to help do those things. And with more people picking up the sport during COVID, his club is facing another problem. Jim says this is an example of trespassing. This snow fence was put up to keep snowmobile riders off of private property. But as you can see, one rider still made tracks where they weren't supposed to. He says it puts both the rider and the property owner in a predicament. If you go to trespassing, you could be arrested uh, as a federal offense versus a county. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Smeeby says a lot of younger riders don't realize that there's a 50 mile per hour speed limit in Minnesota. And if you were born after 1976, you are supposed to go through a safety training course, which can be taken online. For more training and information about hazards, riders are encouraged to contact their local snowmobile club.